Hello, this is Street Fighter 6. Let's, uh, let's do arcade mode with a character I have not played yet, and that is Ken. I mean, I just played him just, just now in practice, just to try to get uh, his moves a little bit. Anyway, five stages, uh, okay. Major Foundation suspected of providing unlawful aid in developing nation. Oh no. He's got like Dune Freeman guys. What's going on there? So I'll do is this where we find out about the incident? Funds mis misappropriated? That's boring. In the kingdom of Nashal. Ken Masters detained in Nashal, okay. Former martial arts champion turns terrorist? Oh no, Ken, say it ain't so. Someone gave him a thumbs down on some app. Funding to anti-government extremists. Well, considering the government is that jerk JP, I mean, that's just probably fine. Foundation, and what's this foundation? It was like... That's, uh, Kimberly's uncle was involved or something. Non-governmental organization, but who's that girl? What's Ken doing running a foundation, anyway? The champ. What happened to his shirt? Uh, so there was a bombing, okay. Support of what? Okay. Why not? Because he hasn't shaved? Why is he in a construction building? Oh yeah, because he's being a hobo now. Oh no, what's your reason for fighting now, Ken? It's not to clear his name. Oh, it's his brother-in-law. Did you know that the, the women they're married to are sisters? That's pretty wild. I learned that in Guile's story mode, which I did just before this. Oh, that, that failed. That, that didn't work. Okay, so it's just Ken. He's pretty much got all his stuff, except now he's got um, got two kick moves. I'm not sure he had before. He's got Guile. Cut it out. He's got this. Oh, Guile. He's got this kick thing. He can like do a couple follow-up kicks on it or something. I I don't really know what the point of that is. They're just kind of filling out the motion inputs with moves that aren't really that distinct from normal moves for a lot of characters um it's like they just want to fill up the move list the possible the, the move motion list like what we have a motion that we're not putting a move on we got to put some kind of move special move on even if it's not that special Oh, good one, bro. Guess we can EX those. Ah, oh, heck. That was supposed to be an EX Tatsu or a, an air Tatsu. Uh -huh. Um. No, do the. Do that. There's his level three super. Just punches him really hard in the stomach. His shoes are hot blast. That's where he gets his fire. It's his hot blast shoes. Okay. Hobo can. Is that hobo again? Um. Hmm. 
See, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's got he's got the tatsus, obviously. Ow. Uh, he's got the uppercuts, which I am failing to do. Oh, golly. I hate it when that guy falls out of the air. It's so distracting. Donk. Whoa, watch out for the pavement. Hey, Ken, where's your super at? Okay, wait a second. I thought I knew what his level one super was. Oh, it's back? What? Dang it. That's... That. Okay, that's just critical art one. Uh oh. Okay, I guess that was stupid. Oh, well. Peace. Sorry for the trouble. Make it up to who? What? Is, what? This is all extremely vague and boring. He was talking about misappropriated funding. And there was some kind of bombing or something, but... I mean, it's the lamest story, really. Like, even a non-story would have been better, but instead we're just left with this assurance that something vague happened with a bomb in some country nobody knows about because it doesn't exist. I meant to do the level two. But level one is back, that's weird. Here's level two. Take that truck, yo. Oh. Uppercut a truck. And make it blow. I get to fight my bro Ryu. He's not my bro-in-law like Guile. He's kind of my spirit bro. Except he always wins. Oh shoot. Silly, silly Ryu. So I had what felt like a sort of a revelatory uh, thought yesterday. I was watching, uh, what was it? It was the CEO Taku Top 8 from the CEO Taku tournament from like a week or two ago. And I was watching that kind of alternating with on YouTube. So alternating that with watching a... Ah! Oh wow. A, um... A Super Street Fighter 2X sort of tournament from Game Newton, which is an arcade, Japanese arcade channel on YouTube. Uh... Where you know a bunch of a bunch of dudes were playing this kind of interesting sort of paired team format of uh, Super Street Fighter 2X, which is Japanese version of Super Turbo, and I I just found I was having way more fun watching the Super X tournament. I mean, stuff is faster. You don't have all these breaks where you have to watch some cinematic animation, and uh, it's more colorful. 
It's just, it's just kind of more, and it's just crazier stuff happens. Like, you, you realize watching that, that, you know, modern fighting games are so carefully calculated and quote-unquote balanced and all this stuff, and they get kind of formulaic. You can see that there's, you know, that we kind of almost praise the designers for following, you know, this very neat formulas and making them, and like, this game is so systems-heavy, whereas Street Fighter 2 Turbo or X or whatever is just super, is, a uh, it's just crazy. They just did a bunch of hand-crafted crazy stuff. Got a pointy face. Oh, it's JP, the ruler of friggin' Nashal. He's got the weird Dune frame and eyes, too. Have they both been... Snorting spice. So I guess I get to fight JP now. What say you? I'm gonna go around saying to people, what say you? Uh, is he hitting on Ken? Oh no. What was he drinking? It's like cranberry juice. Crunched his cranberries. I mean, why did that make him mad? He's... It's the big bad guy offering to let you beat on him. Like a dope. Uh, well... Okay, maybe not so dopey. Ow! Oh! Uh -huh. Dang it! I... My second favorite character has actually been JP so far. Oh, heck! Thought I had something going for a second. I got his stupid felt clothing all dirty, at least. Uh. Uh oh. Ah, that's no good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting pasted. Oh no. Oh god. Oh wow, we got this follow-up kick thing. Okay, I did a new move accidentally, and I won. Oh, dang it, why do I always... Oh, you punk! Oh, stupid wizard combos. Sweeps work a little too well against this AI. Hey. No, oh, no, that's shake my burning booties. Peace, y'all. Well, you just, I mean, you, you could do it now. You beat him up. Oh, he's got the juice running. That's like syrup. He's just drinking a mug of syrup. That's gonna be gooey. I thought he went and fought him, though. Did, was, was the fight just in their minds? So how is his hair so glossy? It's like covered in wax. Well, you, you, is he gonna kill him? But... I don't know. Oh, there you go. So they just didn't draw a new... They just didn't want to make a new drawing of, like, the after the fight. They just left him where he was holding this syrup cup. Oh, no. Oh, I guess he didn't kill him then. 
So he's just sitting there, I don't know. I don't know, and JP just like gets up and dusts himself off, and he's like, uh, okay, see you later, I guess. Kim's like, I don't know, do I kill him? JP's just walking and getting a cab. Oh, that's, uh, Kinu Nishimura. Nice. Who is the girl with the headset? Ah. Uh, Who's the guy with the fist? That's Urian? So this is... Well, it's not old, because it says special. It doesn't say legacy, so it must be Street Fighter VI. Right? But Dan's in it. The girl in the lower right, isn't that? Uh, like, what's her face from... Or is that the rich girl from Street Fighter V? Can you, can you put some funky characters in this? Oh wait, no, the rich girl, girl from Street Fighter V is on the, on the far left. She got Boxer in here, she got Ryu with his head, with his back turned to the audience. She's like, I don't want to draw a Ryu face. So the girl in the lower right, I'm thinking she's making me think of... Oh, but she doesn't have the weird hair thing. Oh wait, is she the ice... ice girl from Street Fighter V? Who was, I guess, like... a uh, sort of assistant to the... to the... to Gil in Third Strike or something? Maybe that's who that is. Oh. I still don't know who that girl with the headset is, so what the heck? That wouldn't be like, no, Ken's wife is blonde anyway. Oh. Kino. I don't know what you've done. Blown out of colors. Oh, here we got some older. Of that, it's just a lot of uh, Shadowloo dolls. But that's the oh Ingrid, that's her name. The the girl looming above Ryu, weird, weird headed Ryu, big old bowl cut Ryu. Does he have? He's got like a mullet. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Now we go harder. Uh, I guess we'll do color. Twelve stages. Bonuses off. Play by players on. Still normal difficulty. I I guess I haven't been paying attention. Like I think was the boss CPU level six there. Um, we got some photo referencing going on in this. Like that's musculature's got to be photo referenced. The hand in the previous. Image lift photo reference. That head there is not photo reference because it's a little off. That's okay. That's what. That's what tells you it was just drawing, just good old-fashioned drawing. Guile loves his watch. The worst thing you could do to Guile would be to, like, step on his watch and grind it into the deck of his aircraft carrier. You would just... you would just go ape if you did that. Oh wow, I just did an accidental combo or something. Just doing stuff I can get away with against CPU level 3. Uh, that was in the combo. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. Oh, you got me, bro. Just get hit by all the fireballs. So I, I was listening to a... Oh, it was that CEO Taku uh, top 8. They were saying that 
a guy didn't want to block because it would have used up the rest of his drive meter, so I forgot that blocking uses drive meter. I kept wondering, like, how do I keep... How do I burn out sometimes when I'm not using my meter because I forgot because I was blocking and that takes meter. So, I, so if you if you run your meter low and then you block a, a well a certain amount, you can you can burn through the rest of your meter. I don't really like that, but I guess it's you know favoring attacking. They bring aggressive play. I'm really bad at jump kicks. Oh yeah, he's got an uppercut kick move. I mean, an uppercut motion kick. What does that do? Oh, it does that. Friggin' that one. Lead him up. Hot blast or whatever the heck is she say. On the night shift, yeah. Or, sorry for the trouble, Luke. Well, because Luke was like... Luke was there or something like in Guile's story. He... he that's the first person Guile fights, and then they talk, and because, like, Luke is in the military, too, he's got dog tags. Wait, does Ken have dog tags? He's got some kind of necklace. And, uh, Luke is just briefing Guile on what happened, kind of, except he doesn't really... It's all very vague, of course, because... I guess that's all the story they got, is vagaries. Jeez, Ryu, maybe you should block sometime. That Tatsu never connects. Uh-oh. Guess who's getting their bones shown? I wish I had uppercut that jump kick, that would've looked cool. Oh no. I'm an idiot. Ow. Ow. Guess I'll just blow up your head. Peace. Never stop being you. Oh, wow, he just kind of dissed him. Never stop being you, dude. Got me started. Now I just beat the tar out of you. Priest. Ken's kind of a jerk. So it's not a dog tag, it's a locket on like a dog tag cheap metal keychain or chain. It's like he took the chain off it. Of Toilet, to a sink plug with a locket to his wife on it or something. Maybe it's a locket to JP since they're uh, quite intimate buddies now. But that's okay. We won't tell his wife. There's pandas on those pots. Look at the pandas. There's one laying down. That's cool. Why can't I play the panda? Man, I saw down that hallway. Oh man, there's a lady inside the window. Hi, lady. Oh, she's clapping. Everybody likes to see a street fight. I mean, nobody's calling the cops. This is kind of a... What are we teaching the kids? 
Hey kids, street fighting's cool. I didn't do the follow-up kick. John, I didn't do my... There it is. Look at that corner carry. Bop. Ken's weird little booties. Oh yeah, the revelatory thought I had uh, was yeah. I already got. I already basically told that, didn't I? About how I was way more into uh, Super X or Super Turbo. So then I started thinking, well, what? I've been pl I've got like nine fighting games in my rotation, ostensibly. Like, which ones of those are like the ones I feel that strongly about? Which are the core fighting games, if I was going to get right down to it? And I was thinking, well, Super X, I suppose, because that's like the beginning of Street Fighter and all these other Street Fighters kind of trying to relive the glo those glory days. And that's where they oh oh ow and uh and like the the three versus series games are definitely not really central they're just kind of let's throw a bunch of stuff in part of that is snk of course and i am playing kof 2000 so that's probably another chord second quarter game, KOF 2000, and uh, and then I've got a couple Virtua Fighter games, VF4 Evolution, that are in my rotation, Evolution, and um, Five Final Showdown. Five Final Showdown probably has slightly less goofy AI, but it's still not great AI. The AI, I haven't played any Virtue Fire that had like AI that was really fun to fight. You can set it to a level where it's frustratingly difficult, but that's about it. It's either, either easy or frustratingly difficult. Smotheringly difficult, even. Like, you can, you can use, like, two moves. Otherwise, you just get completely pounded. But, uh... But Evo, VF4 Evo has a pretty fun quest mode that definitely keeps you entertained. And I like its, um throw mechanic better, it's less irritating, although the AI, of course, is irritating with it because they fuzzy guard like crazy. Uh-oh. Now your drive gauge recovers between rounds, right? It's got to, yeah. Whoa. I guess I should have parried that and looked like a cool dude. Oops. Well, I guess he's dead. Sorry, dude. Oh. Like the verse games in particular have a problem with with difficulty. They aren't uh, the verse games I've I've been playing are uh, Capcom vs SNK Pro and Capcom vs SNK Two and actually wait I forgot because. Uh, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 actually does get hard. I forgot about that. So never mind that. But it's kind of a hard that I don't super enjoy because it just means the AI is gonna... is gonna do long combos on you all the time. 
I hate getting long combos. That's kind of like the AI in this game as well. Like on CPU level 7, and I suppose, well yeah, and 8 if it's like it was in the demo. You just get, you just get like maximum combos laid into you a lot. Which is boring. Like, how do people stand just watching long combos all the time? Much less memorizing them and having to execute them all the time. That's boring. Forced knockdown, Aki. Oh, there's a forced knockdown, too. Oh. Oh, hey, actually jumped. Oh, just over. Donk. How does she not break her knee and hip when she falls like that? Peace, Aki. Oh, closer to the truth when the assassins come out. It's good thinking, kid. <laughs> Nothing gets by this can. Look at his perfect teeth. This is the hobo with the nicest teeth in the world. I mean, I don't know, maybe more hobos have good teeth. I wish... I guess my teeth are okay, it's my gums that are my problem. Hey! But nobody cares about that except my... Not even my hygienist cares. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh-oh! I finally tried to do a special kick and I got worked. Oh, do the super can. There, she'll block that. That's good. Good, good, uh, good faking her out. What's with the big steam meter there? Because London's got to have steampunk. That's, that's great. Just punch her right in the face. Oh, heck. Why not? Oh, shoot. Should have hit me harder. Silly Cammy. Oh wow, he just told Cammy to get lost. He didn't even acknowledge her individuality. He just kind of dissed her. He's like, don't even try talking. I don't care what you think. That dude is gonna have serious arthritic hands. Not to mention a drinking problem. Liver problems, I suppose. I mean. Ah! Ah, Jamie! Uh, try doing a special move. Oops. Oh, that's a good, good response. Ooh! Try to drive impact through that. EX uppercut. Yo ho ho. Oh, you broke the pavement, Jamie. Oh. Ooh. I think he's dead. It's nice against a dark sky backdrop. The cinematic quality is so boring. 
You're the town's peacekeeper? What? Is that what he's calling himself now? Russia. Just gonna have some vigilante justice in Shanghai? I haven't fought Zengief in a while in this game. Pointing and yelling. There's a huge scar on his shoulder. Oh shoot! Oh no, I'm gonna get crap. Oh, I didn't get crap. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that was supposed to be a super. What? Oh, no. Uh, there, have another one. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. You didn't hit me. Well, I did a lot of dumb stuff. Dang it. Singy is probably the one I have the most trouble against. I just get intimidated, basically. Uh. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh. Ooh. That was, uh, that was interesting. Oh, heck. That went badly. Shoot! Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh-oh. Announcers are excited. Potty. Oh, shoot. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. Dang it. I can't beat Zangief half the time. There goes another 1cc. Look at that guy. Well, maybe I'll have fun playing as Zangief, because I sure have trouble beating him. My weird boots. Dang it, Zangief. How much health did they give this guy anyway? Maybe it's just intimidation factor. Maybe I just should have been doing this. Okay, now I feel silly. Although, I don't know, maybe it ranked down when I died and it's going a little easy on me. Oh, it did rank down. He's only CPU level 4 now. I, he must have been higher than that before, right? That's interesting, you can actually see their level. I'm gonna have to watch this back and check that. But I think... I think that means you basically can see that it does rank down. Cause... It must have... Cause I was CPU... I was against CPU level 6 by the end of just the stage 5 one. 
I mean, now he's up to five, but... Are you just gonna burn your whole meter? I can see one thing you're burning. Dang it! Where was my throw? Dang it! Dang it! I keep thinking his level one is forward. Quarter circle forward times two, but it's back. Dang it! I'm getting whooped lately. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Ow. Have some of this then. This game. How did that miss? What the heck? Got weird. Guess I should have just kept doing that. Is that gonna work on the wizard? Nice shawl. Okay, we've seen this. This weird. Strange attraction these two men have for each other, that's fine. Ken crushes his cup of syrup. What's that telling us? Oh wow, nice one. We can wake up throw. Punch him in the beef. Ah, oh, the throws. <laughs> Maybe it didn't rank down. I may to just wait for the last two fights to go up. I'll have to check. Actually, what I learned playing as JP was just standing kick sweep, heavy standing kick sweep. I learned that heavy punch to the face from watching Daigo, actually. Daigo sometimes just hits people with heavy punch to the face and it looks so painful as he plays as Ken. Oh, we've seen this. He doesn't make a decision. Thanks, for play. Thanks dude. Give me some more Kinu Nishimura art. Uh, that's a weird one. Kind of cool technique. It's a brush strokes, I mean. All right, well, that was Ken. So what I learned as Ken is just punch people in the face real hard. Don't mess around. Uh, friggin' Zangief got me. I mean, Ken's okay, I guess. I guess it's fun to punch people in the face. And kick him with his weird little booties. Uh, who could be next? Let's find out. Uh, see ya. Oh, thanks for watching. Did I say that? I should have said that. Okay, now I did. Bye-bye. Uh,